And Did somebody decided that they were vacuuming right now? A lot. Are you, there's there vacuuming happening in your background? I can't hear it. That might it's be just. Away. That might be. If that just, just got, got home, and if he's not in the chat, that means he's probably vacuuming, and I'm gonna kick his butt. Well, I mean, like number one, he's vacuuming, which is really wonderful, right? Like we're happy about the vacuum. Yeah, he va he's he, he's the vacuumer. That's his. Uh, that's his. He likes vacuuming. I love so vacuuming. Let him. <laughs> Okay, welcome to Shisha Secret Time, guys. That was our very official start. Uh, this is a live stream where we tell you the behind the scenes secrets of our lives, the channel, the show, our film industry, all the things that we can come up with to fill out an hour worth of time. <laughs> uh, I'm Tara and that is Natalie. And we always start this thing by like in engaging with you right out, right out of the gate. ASMR. That's what the algorithm tells us to do. <laughs> Just kidding. Dustin, were you vacuuming? Anyways, so we're going to start by saying hello. Everyone in the chat, you know what to do. Say hi starting now. I'm going to scroll up, read all your handles back so we know who's in the room. Don't be shy if you are new here. We don't, we like, we like to know who we're talking to. So it's fun. And then you can turn this into a podcast. You can like, you know, turn the visual off or whatever, but say hi now. But for right now, let's do the real thing. Okay. I'm going to do it. I'm going to read the names. I'm going to say hello. Okay. After I burp. Okay, uh, David Faith, hello. Unitless Constance. I love that NT celebrate Pi Day. I do look like I'm wearing like an apple pie or something. Um, <laughs> uh, Shannon West, the Earth and Galaxy is insane in Asylum. Uh, welcome to my weird world. Ward, Ward, Ward. That's a hard word to say. Word. <laughs> Shannon has just been, like we said last week, the, the, the world just keeps like throwing things at her. Oh, she, yeah. No joke. It's, you know what? It's her puppy. Her puppy is not, not oh, playing right. Oh, no. That's not good. Can't say long. Father's dream just discharged from the hospital. Shannon, it was good to see you for the two seconds that you were here. Have a nice day. Bye, uh, Ed Keaton, happy Thursday to you. Uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth I, I can't talk today, so this is going to be very interesting. Fine. Elizabeth Bonu, howdy, howdy. Um, Jack Boots, hello. Scrolling, scrolling, and scrolling. Um, <laughs> Steve's use space, <laughs> SpaceX rocket parts. <laughs> Hi, Summer Test. Hi, uh, Summer ooh, Pi Day. I can have pie today. Oh, <laughs> before I move any further, okay. I'm at the, I, I finished my diet. Like I lost all the weight I wanted to. And now my, the app, actually the app that I was using, I'm really happy because it automatically yeah. kicked it into, um, it changed the calories that I wanted. So I had a goal in there. And when I inserted that, that I had that weight, it now is like, oh, you get to have 400 more calories a day. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's a slice of pie. That's a slice of pie. <laughs> well, I just eat junk all day because we're filming so much stuff. Anyway, oh, I know. I've been really bad about it recently. Anyway, uh, where was I? Uh, Justin Wheeler is in the house, literally the house that I am in. Was vacuuming. Great. Desiree laugh. Gonzalez. Hey, -o. hey -o. Alex Doherty. Hello. Uh, how often is duct tape used on your film set? No, we use gaff. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, Charlie. Ben Rathig, hello. And a pineapple. What are you talking about? Toby mm -hmm. Vega, hi, hi, hi. Toby, I don't know if he told you. Toby's going to be on his first set, or I don't know if he, he already did. did. He mentioned yeah, it. I'm yeah. so excited for Toby. Yeah, uh, I, I hooked him up with Brandon to try and help him. Like, oh, he yeah. Knows, he, knows a lot about, he knows a lot of theater people and some film people, but I was like, Brandon can give him one person to give him the right direction to go in the right way, or this way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then that was the thing is Toby's going to, and I, I, Toby, I've been wanting to talk to you about this. I think you could totally have a career of doing set photography. hundred like, percent. Like that is people pay for that. Like, and I think, you know, yes. if you want to, <laughs> if you want to, you, you could do set photography, would. people will pay that. You could probably cover the whole entire Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi mm -hmm. region. If you didn't mind driving, because enough stuff rolls through there. Mm -hmm. It's not always going to be in like one city, but you could, if you can cover all that bait, you could absolutely have a complete career doing that. That is a yep. job for sure. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Ed, Ed lost a good friend of his, oh, um, I'm sorry, Ed. his birthday terrible. was sad. Oh, right before his birthday. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Make this chat pop out this chat. Okay. We say hi to everybody. We get everybody. Yeah. I don't know. I stopped. I, like I don't stopped. know if I was done. Oh, <laughs> I was done. <laughs> I was done. <laughs> 
I stopped listening to you. Then I started like reading the chats and then realized I couldn't read the chats. And like, I need to, if I'm going to leave back in my chair like this. I need to pop it out a little bit more. Pop it out, blow it up. Anyway. I know. Yeah. Mine's my, my chat's not big enough for yeah, my old I, bad contacts and I, my I, old I, bad eyes. That's- I just started doing, I just the other day, I sat down at like a, a women in film, like a small, just people meeting up. And the, the person who set up the whole little meeting, it was really, it was cute. It reminded me of when I was much younger. Cause everyone in that room was like in their late twenties. I was like, Oh, you guys are so cute. Welcome to LA. And <laughs> How long have you been in LA? And I'm like, oh, you know, 17 years. And they're like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, because I was yeah. feeling straight. Anyways, beside the point. Yeah, so, it was a different industry then. <laughs> it totally was. Like, I was trying to explain that to them. Like, guys, it was such a different world out here. And like, you sometimes the things that they're saying, like, that's still really old school. Like, I don't think that's how it works anymore. I think that's just old information that's circuit. Anyway, that's beside the point. Yeah. The person who runs the meeting is adorable and printed up these little cards with like, what we're ta- going to talk about the way that this meeting is going to go. And it's like little tiny font and we're in a di- dark room. And I'm like, I'm doing the whole back and forth with the paper closer. Yeah. To the- and I died inside just a yeah. little bit. Like, oh no, it started. Well, I, so cool. I, you know, I'm in my con, if I'm in my context, there's no, there's no solution for it. You know, everyone, you know, everyone in this house has readers. Um, <laughs> and everyone in this house has readers, even Gunner, does he has glasses, but doesn't need them all. He's kind of like how you use your glasses. Like you don't need them all the time. Like you can yeah. function without them. Like, yeah. so they're all talking about losing their readers, like, and how, you know, it's, it was Shannon's birthday and he got readers in, in, in one of his like gifts. And it was because like, you just lose them all the time. And that's what they were saying. I was like, I'm not going to lose my glasses. I will lose my glasses if I set them down because then I can't see them anymore. Yeah. It's not losing them because I don't use them for a week and then I need to read something and I have no idea where they are. Yeah, no, it's yeah, because yeah. if they fall no. off the they fall off them. the end table in the night, I can't find them on the floor. I can't yeah. see. I have to do the... <sighs> yeah, I'm in, a, I'm in a middle ground with that. Like I'm trying to be consciously aware of where I set my glasses. And there, there's, there's glasses everywhere. At this point, I've bought so many glasses from... Um, from I buy direct because they're so cheap. And every time for I you, they are, they're still oh, not yeah, cheap right. for me. For yeah. me, they are, but for you, they're not for me. For me, with, that- with my, as thick as my lenses are, like yeah. it's still, you go to like yeah. the, the eyeglass store and they, they're like, this is the starting price. And then my lenses have to be, and I have to get the anti glare. Yeah. I can't even like skimp on that because otherwise I can't drive at night. Right. Um, because astigmat- I found out astigmatisms cost, I mean, cr- create more glare. Yeah. And like, I'm just like, you know what? Listen, this yeah, is, no, no, you too. <laughs> this but is so, not fair. Life have, is not fair. <laughs> I have glasses like all over the house. I've bought, I've bought so many over the years, yeah. but I still, if I set them down somewhere weird and I don't have them on now, it's a thing of like, is that them? Okay. Cause oh eyes- Yeah good enough but not good enough like I can right. see the thing but I can't I gotta get up on it to be like be like oh confirm that's what well, that so is. that's my thing though is I have to take my glasses off to read oh interesting. like with, if I have my glasses on and I try to read small print I can't do it I have to take them off and read just like oh. so there's this really weird thing this is everybody needs to know this just like last week, all we talked about was that, or was the week before, I don't know, is that my butt jiggles when I am nervous. So this other thing is I can't see my armpit hair when oh. I have my contacts in. I have to shave my armpits without my glasses on or my contacts in so that I can see it. Yeah. Funny. Also, like I have to pluck my eyebrows before I put my contacts in, but I can't, like, there's like certain things like, I can't see close up. Oh, but I have to wear my, if I want to shave my legs, I need to be wearing my glasses or my contacts in the shower. So there's this really like this game I have to play. Uh, (laughs) What's going to be shaved today? What am I shaving today? I I constantly get in the shower. Like, cause I take my contacts out at night Go and I wake up in the morning, take a shower first thing, but I put my contacts in usually after my shower. So my hands are their cleanest. Like the whole process. But that also means when I'm in the shower, I can't see my leg hair, which I already, my leg hairs are already like the like small, blonde. yeah, yeah. Finest, tiny. They're not everywhere. They're inconsistently all over my legs. Like it doesn't make any sense. So I can't see well, in, see, even with my glasses or my contacts, I don't get back up to 2020. Yeah. So I also operate under the assumption that you can't see the leg hair on my legs because I can't see it. 
Like I'm like a child. When I was a kid, I used to do this thing where I'd squint my eyes and I'd do this with my head and I'd like watch the lights dance. But I thought the whole world could see that. Yeah. And so I'd be like, I'm doing that to the lights. And my mom's like, you're not doing anything to the fucking lights, man. But so I oh, think that what I see and what I perceive is how the rest of the world functions. Yeah. And I think that if I can't see my leg hair, you can't see it. But that's just not true. You have much better vision than I do. And I've been walking around offending people's sensibilities for the last oh there's probably some some diagnosis for what that is like Justin that, just thinks I'm on the spectrum I think is what I just said that's what I, I I wanted to say something akin but I wanted to put it as nicely as possible delicate like how do I say kindly you're on the spectrum yeah <laughs> so now you all know everything yeah. there is to know about Ned <laughs> this TMI uh yes but you're here for it uh I saw this video of this couple on uh TikTok and she, it was him, it was he, it was him, his wife. And he's like, okay, my wife, my wife is neurodivergent and I'm, I'm, I'm whatever. And I'm not. And uh, she asked me, what do you hear at night when you go to sleep? And she's like, and he, and she's like shocked that he doesn't hear anything that he just yeah. tired, tired, goes to sleep. And she's like, wait a minute. I'm sorry. You don't, you don't still hear things when you're asleep. And he's like, no, Do you still <laughs> things when you're asleep and he's like dying. Laughing. Well, I saw, I saw another video guys. I saw that one, but I saw another oh. video that was a woman who was driving down the road. She's like, y'all, I had to pull over. She's, she's like, I'm driving down the road. My husband's looking out at the field. And I said, what are you thinking about? He's like, nothing. She goes, no, I mean like, what do you hear in your head right now? And he was like, nothing. She's like, wait a minute. There is never a moment that there's nothing Not happening that. in here. <laughs> yeah. I had that whole conversation at dinner with Ash and um, Katie, Katie and uh, uh, um, yeah. Self and and I, yeah. I'm names right now. Yeah. He asked like, what do you, do you have um, a narrator in your head? Do you have like a voice? And I'm like, sometimes, but not always. Like a lot of times it's imagery in my mind or a few or a song or yeah I don't have a narrator I have I'm I'm my own narrator mm -hmm. is that not I, that, I don't understand no like, it's my voice it's me talking to me yeah, yeah. <laughs> whenever I hear a voice in my head it's my voice talking okay it doesn't happen all the time it's only like when I need to have a conversation with somebody I'll talk my side of the conversation in my head like over and over, yeah. and over working out my monologue basically and like airtight making my never will get in a fight with me Never going to fight with me and then let me walk away for two days and come back to it because I'm going to Because we've had this fight 17 times. I've played out all possible make, scenarios and I'm ready for it. I will make it. my case. Never, never date me and think that that's going to work out for you because I, I will walk away from our fight. I will. In your head, you have the edge of tomorrow. You have lived, die, repeat going over and over and over again. Yes, you have played every scenario. You know. Yeah. I will make my case so airtight. I will make my monologue so effective. The writing on it is going to be on yeah. point. And I will deliver it with the ferocity of a juror, of a, of a, of a, of a lawyer to a juror. And you will not survive this fight. You will have no fight. It's like, don't, yeah. don't walk away. Anyways, that's the only time I hear a voice in my head is like when I'm working through something like that. The rest of the I'm time. always working through something. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I'm going to have this. I'm going to have to pull over y'all. Like, <laughs> what do you mean? You're not working through. I'm working through like this light over here right now. Yeah. Like this entire time we're talking, I'm listening to you, but I'm also looking at this thing. I'm wondering what this, like, well, I'm like, and it's I'm all me talking to me. <laughs> as I'm editing my brain and like, that's not words. It's imagery that I'm working together. Or so, so sometimes like what's going through my mind isn't words it's like the imagery or colors or right. stuff like, or like I'm in my mind sewing a book you know well, so what's funny is so I have and I real like when I when I'm having trouble falling asleep which doesn't happen that often I'm pretty yeah. like I have the way I can fall asleep is I turn my I turn everything into imagery and that's how I can fall asleep I turn it in and then it turns into a dream so like I can yeah. if I visualize something enough then it turns into a play and I'm watching it instead of writing it, I right. guess. Like the rest of the time I'm writing it, every, everything that's happening in the entire world. Like yeah. that cloud over there is moving because I'm making it move with my writing. <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm doing this to the lights. Like, you know, like, <laughs> I'm telling you. 
Circle back. Circle back. Oh my God. Do you guys, does anyone out there have a voice? Like, do you have a narrator? Do you hear your own self talking? Do you think in imagery? Like, it's really interesting, like what goes on. Yeah. That's the one that's been weirding me out is because like people said a narrator. And to me, that sounds like it's got to be another person. Somebody else like, why wouldn't you just say a voice in your head? Voice like, in your head. The voice in my head is, is me. Like, I don't, I've never had another human in my head. I've never had a different voice in my head. Like, like a narrator like, is Natalie leaned over and talked into the mind. <laughs> like I've heard the thing where like you, like the negative thoughts you have, which are in my own voice, those, those negative thoughts, like you're supposed to like, I've heard the thing like name that so that it, you can disassociate from it and like realize mm. it's not you talking. Cause I do get that with the anxious attachment thing. Like I do start having intrusive thoughts. I went to therapy yesterday and I learned a new term, learned the term cognitive distortion distortion which is my brain does yeah my brain when I get triggered by something and it could be small but like it's the and it's usually uh in relation to like a relationship or a friendship and most of the time it's romantic but something will happen and then my cognitive di distortion starts which is intrusive thoughts uh feelings and something else wait where's my homework paper There's, it describes it perfectly she gave me a sheet that's my homework. Where did I where did I put that thing? This homework is not good job. Out. You're not doing your homework. Oh, then, I lost my homework. This is going wonderful, guys. This is why you're so effed up. Yeah. It's because you're <laughs> my stupid homework. I had it on my desk. Good lord, I'm not gonna make it, guys. Oh, here it is. Okay, wait. Here we go. I got it. Okay, cognitive distortions. Cognitive. It's irrational thoughts that shape how you see the world, how you feel, and how you act. It's normal to have these thoughts occasionally, but they are harmful when frequent or extreme. So mine get extreme. Mine go to like, no one likes you kind of places. Like, oh yeah, because they don't really love you. They're doing this because, you know, this is, this is how they really feel. And then it just spirals from there. Like my, and there's a whole like list of like how they, how they come out, like overgeneralization, magnification, magnification is probably mine. Like I just take your small slight and decide that you hate me. And we no longer are friends anymore. Like, or, you know, you secretly want to kill me. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not even like, it's to the extreme extreme. You formed a cult that's all about killing oh me. <laughs> it goes, it goes to weird, play, like not really weird, but like realistically stupid places. Especially yeah. When it comes to being in love. That's that, that is my, a key, and, it, and it becomes all consuming. I can't get anything done during the day. I can't get work done or whatever, because I can't get my brain to stop doing it yeah all I can do is cry so anyways those voices are in my own voice like yeah. I don't have a different voice but they tell you like to name that so that you can disassociate it from it because it's not really your real thoughts they're intrusive they're not supposed to be there it's so weird what's going on in my brain is so yeah weird. I <laughs> I'm saving that do you name it like Stacy huh <laughs> Stacy <laughs> like how we named the the uh you guys named the um the voice the the direction voice Sharon it's such a great Sharon name. yeah shut up Sharon it just shut sounds Stacy Stacy I try to isolate the voice in my head but it's invasive my voice re uh replaying every moment that continuing conversation I had the day yeah days weeks depending on the person etc yeah yeah. It, yeah yeah that that that's that that happens <laughs> yeah you are you are normal. Hashtag <laughs> Yeah, but Justin's one of those that doesn't have a monologue. Like he doesn't have a monologue. He doesn't like, no. Justin. Like when I watched this video of this woman saying this guy was looking out the window and he said he wasn't thinking about anything. And I was like, Justin, Justin does that. <laughs> what goes on in your brain, Justin? No. What goes on? I know, I know you've got a thing going on with your brain. What goes on in there? I know you've got like sound overwhelm when you're in a bar. What happens? Oh yeah, yeah. Like that's definitely like okay, your brain is doing stuff. And yeah, Justin gets, and I know people do. Like Justin gets, if he's in a crowded room, then the, the all the noises he can't separate them, and they become a cacophony, and he can't hear anything. Like it just yeah. becomes noise, and it's overwhelming. Yeah, um, yeah. Which I'm sure is like a function of like it's amazing for the wilderness because I'm sure you're hearing every little thing, and you're gonna go capture that little yeah. Bump eat it like that's probably why that that's probably what that is associated to but what else is going on inside your brain justin i'm very curious now nothing the, uh, his, his roman empire is nothing <laughs> i still so love lame. i still i still love that my roman empire stuff like people have been going on 
Justin, Mama come get your mother. Right. She's at the door. <laughs> you, want to, you want to be on the show? Come on. Come on and join join this uh, live stream situation. Yeah. Lately, people have been doing my Roman Empire is the Kate Middleton thing. Have you seen the whole Kate Middleton? Yes. Oh, my God. People I don't are- want I don't want to associate with the Kate Middleton thing. Oh I started God. to like go spiral a little bit. And I was like, no, this is not. Yeah. I don't know enough to kind of understand what was going on. And then I'm like, I don't really care. My favorite, my favorite theory. She's a, she's on the mask singer and that's what I'm going with. Like, <laughs> you know what? I love so it. The mask singer I've watched. I've never watched an episode of it. I've watched um, a reveal. Like mm-hmm. someone had been on there and then I watched like some video of all of their best moments or something like yeah. that one time online. But I think Kevin Hart just got revealed on there recently or something like that. And I'm like, I want to go and watch all of Kevin Hart's. Like, see, like, I don't know. There's certain people that, yeah, that I don't want to watch the show. I don't want to, you know, like, none of, I don't even care about the performances. I like the idea of the reveal. Like, I yes. just want to watch the reveal. Yeah. I don't really want to watch. It's like, I just want to skip to the good stuff. Like, internet, you show me the good parts of like the one, the one show with all the X's, not X, like the letters, the letter X. It's like, um, <laughs> they, they, they got the, they, they all rate them. The, oh the uh got, got talent got talent yeah britain's got <laughs> talent america's got talent zimbabwe's got talent I, I just show me the really good ones are gonna make me cry like the person who comes oh out yeah like those laps get... them off and then they sing this beautiful aria and i'm like yes yeah i, I don't want to watch the show i just want to watch <laughs> the highlights and there's another one where like celebrities lip sync what's that one I, yeah, I don't know I don't need I don't need that in my I love life. it I just want to watch the lip sync and then um, I don't <laughs> I don't even want to watch that like we've said this before I don't watch there's not very many reality shows that I've ever gotten into the skilled ones are the ones that I end up yeah. liking like I want to watch you dominate at some random weird skill oh, that yeah. like yeah. I will watch the lumberjack games yeah. anytime they're on but there was also an electrician one one time like you the, it was I watched on like ESPN 74 or whatever. There was an electrician's games and they went through and they had to like competition wire a house. Like it was just like a wall that they had to go through and do the whole thing that's as so fast cool. as they can. And then they had to go and like flip the switch. Did it work? You know? And it's like, oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> Fun. I, American Ninja. I can watch. Oh that. yeah. For out, I, I, the first time I ever saw it was at a bar in Portland and we're sitting there, Brandon and I were sitting there drinking tequila or something. And I'm just like obsessed. I couldn't stop watching it. I was like, this is the greatest thing I have ever seen. This is amazing. They, I, I've, I've thought about going, they film it. Well, they film it in Vegas sometimes, but they film it in LA sometimes, yeah. but it's like overnight. It's an overnight, okay, you, can go, yeah. like, you can go be in the audience for it. And I was like, this would be kind oh, of fun, but it's an overnight shoot. And it's normally like chilly. It's not like they're doing it in the middle of the summer because things are still happening in the middle of summer, you know, right. but uh, oh, okay. Justin says basic math of introverts plus hyper acoustics. If there's something else to focus on versus sound and light, that is what this type of me- mental slash brain does. The brain seeks stasis. So in an environment. Okay. It's an HG. I don't know what any of that meant. I, don't know. I, I read that and didn't. Follow. It's like taking the SCTs. I didn't listen to anything. I just what? said. <laughs> Is there, in my head. is there a question in that? <laughs> <laughs> Was that a test? Oh, Did I fail? Brian, welcome. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, God. Brian says 100%. Brian understood it. <laughs> Brian gets it. Okay. Okay. So, speaking of the internet and all of its glory, oh my God. This is, this is social media corner, shit I saw corner. Uh, we have been like, because we're making so much content, which if you are not, following us on tiktok or instagram go over there and check it out we are putting out so much stuff we wound up like deep diving on the weirdest stuff on the internet like yeah i did a video last week which was just trying you know a food again that i had had in high school Mm -hmm. like i mean that i used to a snack that i used to have in high school but the number of comments i got on there with people's weird snack i have this long long list now of things that i am going to try them all and so far, nothing has been gross. I've only done, you know, four different things, but like, okay. but one, I mean, that banana mayo sandwich that's that we did like was that's delicious. Good. Like I'm even, I'm angry with how delicious it was. I know I was like confused. And cause it, I was thinking about it while I was watching you. It was like something about this is like the two white things together. Just three. You got like, you should not have mayo, white bread and white bananas. Like, what are we doing I'm here? Just, like, 
triggers weird feelings inside of me. But then when I ate it, I was like, this is built. Guys, go and get some white bread, some mayo and a banana and make a sandwich out of it. It's so freaking good. Like it's delicious. it's so it's so weirdly good. I don't and I don't like mayo. And I'm not a big banana fan. Like yeah. I like bananas as a flavor in smoothies. I, I don't eat bananas. I like I like bananas fine. I love dried baby bananas. Love. Can't stop eating them. And I love fake, uh, obviously we've talked about this before. I love fake banana flavor. Like fake banana, oh, yeah. rents or anything like that is my my jam. But banana itself, like, I don't know. I, it was uh, it was good though. Like it was weirdly good. Yeah, I was very very surprised. Yeah, and your high school snack is really stinking delicious. Yeah, like, I had I forgotten know. about it. I don't remember what like brought it up. Yeah, oh, all the pickle recipes that were being like recommended. Oh. I was like, oh yeah, Frito. Oh. And it had to be that I couldn't almost couldn't even remember what kind of cheese I needed. <laughs> oh my god! So Kyle, Kyle goes wild. Uh. I think it may be partially our fault. I'm not really sure, but he started sending us pickle stuff. And yeah. now like, my whole feed is pickles. Like it's nothing but pickle. And he keeps yeah. sending pickle content now, which is just stinking. Hilarious. I was trying to explain Instagram to Justin. Cause I was like, I mean, not, he understands Instagram, but I was just trying to explain like how we don't do well on Instagram. I don't know what it is. We're, we're losing subscribers on Instagram. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't, why we've don't... been sitting at 4,530 for like, generations now (laughs) anyway so i was trying to explain to justin because he's like you need to do something like this and i was like that's not gonna hit on instagram that's not but i was like but actually i can't tell you how instagram works because instagram is aimed my instagram's aimed towards me right so like i can't tell you what really happens on instagram like mine are all food and and crafts like that's all that's everything that's sent to me yeah, my mind, same, same. Though I did log into our our mutual TikTok and was like watching videos, like not realizing I was in essence. Like, why isn't it showing me anything I want to see? And I was like, oh, because I'm not in the right account. Oh, like, and I only oh. use ours, just so you know. So it's yeah. only showing you things that, yeah, I don't care. All, oh my God. The other night I got home at like 2.30 in the morning from work. I couldn't sleep. So I got on TikTok. I was like, I'll just go on TikTok and like see what's going on. I don't know what was happening. People started making videos about it, but I don't know what was going on, but it would only show videos with the, with four songs. The, there was yeah. the, the Beyonce song, this new song with Chicago in it. That I kind of like the song, but like, it was at the point, it was like 30 minutes of like every post was one of those four songs that people started making videos. Like, we don't know what's going on. Oh yeah. Mine. And all I get to see is these four songs at not, it was weird weird like but remember like there was a weird minute where tiktok thought i wanted to watch like and i got i was i was almost gonna throw my phone across the room it was like a horror film it was like you want to watch pimple popping videos or jiggly boobs and i was like i don't know how to make you stop like i'm just scrolling as fast as i can i'm going and saying i don't want this like i i I could i was like i'm not going to be able to use instagram i mean sorry tiktok anymore because literally and i was disgusted I'm like, how do I get out of this, this weird loop? So every once in a while, it just goes like, really, the algorithm goes just completely out of whack. Yeah. It's, I don't think, and I think like anyone who says they understand how to like, no one knows, no one knows because now all these sites are trying to be all each other. Like, oh yeah. YouTube, YouTube wants to be Instagram. Instagram wants to be TikTok. And now, now with the whole TikTok and let's not get into the politics of it, I don't care. But like the, we might lose TikTok entirely. So everyone's moving over to Clapper or something like. It's no, a- I'm not doing a new one. I know. I'm just like, uh, the, what? I don't know. I'm not, the I'm only reason, the, actually the only reason I'm posting on TikTok right now, I would rather do it on Instagram. It's that Instagram's reels are so short. Like, I mean, yeah. they're, the way they share them, I don't like it. Um, okay. How? Yeah. And then why doesn't, why? Like, hello, YouTube. Why don't, why are our shorts all short? Yeah. Like why, why a minute? That's, mm. I have more. I mean, I get that I could make a horizontal traditional video, but can I just like make a longer? A minute story? and a half, like a yeah. minute, like what, Two. what? No, I don't know. I oh. say nay, sir. Nay, sir. I don't, I don't get it. I made the mayo banana sandwich yesterday. This is Jack Boots. It was oddly tasty. Use the cutie pie mayo. Oh yeah. yeah. I Cupid. almost did that. Oh my God. I love that stuff so much. Mm-hmm. But it's mostly because of the only mayo. I almost did that as like a choice. Like, no, you need to try the way she's doing it first before you start. Yeah. I don't know. Is Cupid a little, uh, sweeter? 
Because that would be uh, the only reason that I think that it's. I don't know if it's sweeter. That's I, what I wouldn't use Miracle Whip with right. that because now it's sweet on sweet. I think the mayo is doing something with the the sweetness yeah, of the banana. It's it's got they use yolk in it, and that's why it tastes different. Mm-hmm. Like they use a little bit of yolk, mostly whites, and that's why it's a little different. I'm pretty sure that's what I read. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I love that mayo so much. Getting tired of work pulling me into this shit on my lunch. Oh, I, I think he doesn't I get to be here. He has to work. Oh, okay. Mirror. Sorry. Sorry, Blair. It's okay. No worries. We bram, bram, bram. Hi, Blair, bram. though. Sure. Oh, oh, no. But speaking of, of Instagram and pickle stuff, I saw the coolest thing. I would say this morning. Somebody breaded, and I'm sure this is a thing, and I feel like I've seen it before, but now that I'm seeing it through fresh eyes, I'm like, I have to make this. Someone breaded their chicken. They made these like little bites. It's like a little bitty waffle, a little bitty piece of chicken, and they bread the chicken with crumbled up uh, pickled chips and make fried chicken out of that and then put a pickle onto the, oh my God, it looks so You mean pickle flavored chips. Yeah, pickle flavored chips. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Pickled yeah. chips would be something different. So I try to pull all the words out of the, the recipe that are essential. <laughs> pickle flavored chips. Yeah, they come up pickle flavored potato chips. Yeah. Okay. So that and fr- I'm like, and oh, and then they marinated the chicken in pickle juice. Yeah, first. I've seen that. I've seen pick, you know, marinating chicken in pickle juice. Yeah, I know I've seen it yeah. before, but now that like I'm paying attention because I'm like, oh, that looks like something fun to do to make a video out of. Like I'm actually really paying attention to what mm-hmm. I'm watching. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that sounds amazing. Like I want to try that so much. I, I might just do the pickle. I might, I might just do it today. I might just <laughs> say, I got chicken. I got jars of pickles. <laughs> Oh I thought you were going to say you had jars of chicken. And I was like, no, no. Like, no. Mm-hmm. Don't go putting your chicken in jars, Tara. I know you're a big fan of the, the mason jar method. Just, like, let's there's like, cooking everything. chicken, cutting it up and putting it in jars and put, like, I feel like that's like. That's a, that's a step beyond. <laughs> that's just, that is just like. That no. Is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Right? The, like, that's just house. weird. That's American history, not American history. Uh, that is a what was the American Horror Stories circus version? Like that one scene where they go into the laboratory and there's all the parts and jars. Justin randomly a few weeks ago puts on American Horror Story, like whatever the newest season is. We've never watched a single season, just so you know. Like whatever the newest season, and I got to tell you, it's terrible. Oh, like and it's no. teenage teenagers living in a haunted house like thing, and like oh, that's unfortunate. It's just like. Uh, but we watched it (laughs) and I'm not even like we were invested we just kept you know it auto plays and we're just like okay sure why not like I don't even care but by the end of it it's like I don't even feel like it's the same storyline anymore I was like Uh what what are you even doing and of course they had to have the gimp suit like I was like what this is not even a this is just Got to bring it back. I don't know. It, it, it jumped the shark so long ago is what it feels like. And yeah. I'm catching up on, you know, like, oh my this God. has to be, it has to be a shadow of what the original show was. Otherwise, yeah. I don't understand whatever happened. How did we get here? How did we, you know, <laughs> it's like the first time you watched Land Before Time, you were watching Land Before Time 77. Oh. Like, like a, it's yeah, not, it's original. a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. We're like at multiplicity here. Yeah, yeah, you're, you've got the you got the one Batman that can't seem to function, and I can't think of his name, which is why I said Batman. That's Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. You got the one. Michael- I like Keaton. Yes. Oh my god, I love that movie. I forgot that movie existed. Okay, I feel like somebody is pretending to be you, and I'm just kidding. The handle is Nats nineteen. Yeah, no, Nats has been here before. Oh, okay. I was like, who's pretending to be Natalie? We want pickled eggs. <laughs> yes, we all want pickled eggs. You know what I want? I still am on the hump for this. That stupid Amish recipe for- I pickles. knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I'm upset and I need- I've looked one. plenty of times. I've never figured out what it was. No, I think Chow Chow was one. like the closest thing to we what we back. Put. We got to go back to Intercourse, Pennsylvania. We got to go back to that all you can eat buffet. You know it's still there. And then we got to go to that same farm and buy bags of those mustard- pretzels because I can't get them out of my mind. I still think about that's my Roman Empire. My <laughs> Roman Empire. Mustard, <laughs> mustard 
pretzels from Amish country. I don't have a Roman Empire, I don't think. Oh my God. That's mine. That's absolutely mine. I also own, also my my current obsession, it's got to work. So I was, I'm on these weird deep dives through the internet world. Someone, someone put up there, if you want to like heat water when your power goes out, use tea lights. And so they put little tea lights in a muffin pan and like light them all and then stick a, stick a, a pot on top of it. And I'm like, could you really heat water that way? Like more than just like kind of warm i don't know i don't I think so. i don't think tea lights don't seem and they're setting them right on top of them yeah, wait hold on let me pull this out because if I, it puts it right on top of them it's also going to extinguish the flame that's well okay there's so no, no air they, getting in there that flame is done they put it they put it like a in a four in a four so they do four yeah. little muffins okay. and they're putting a the pot in the in the middle of it so like you're not so they're just sitting pot. around it like not, we're sacrificing the pot <laughs> like, like a like you know how like in the in the muffin tin there's like the four and then do you a, know the muffin tin do you know the muffin tin you know you know the muffin tin oh the four okay like okay the picture screen. a muffin tin got a muffin tin <laughs> picture a muffin okay now put a candle in in each four. tin in, in, in four, four. that's fine okay make a, make a make a make a square okay in that middle part where the metal still is there's no muffin they put the pot there Okay, so, but they're not putting it directly onto the. No, not directly on okay. it. Because so I was like, that would floor. extinguish the flame, right. yo. <laughs> that doesn't work, yo. Wait, I'm watching it again. Do you need to heat up water or soup or other food during a power outage? Put tea lights. And like the pot is fully steaming. Now they're in a winter wonderland, so maybe that's part of it here, but like it makes it you look know, like the water's boiling. Like, maybe. I know, it's I know not a lot of flame, though. I know. I know people. No, it's like steam. This has to, I have to try this. Try it. Yeah, make, I don't think that's going to work. I know people make like mini cakes using tea lights. And I also want to try that. But I can't imagine that I could heat my pot of water hot enough to make myself a cup of tea with tea lights. This can't possibly work. There's no way. I'm going to try it out. Steve, you space like What is happening here? I don't know. It's like we're like stumbling in the middle of a conversation. I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> Justin, get it together. Have you seen, <laughs> it's like, have you seen Justin talking and it's a long passage? I don't yeah. know. Debbie, <sighs> Deborah says you're making your, you're making my head hurt. <laughs> we have that effect on people. We agree. We know. We know. Yeah. I, I have to try that. Also, now, now I'm looking at all my stuff. I got to try this thing you sent me, the mushrooms thing where you cut out little mushroom tops. Out of out of orange peels? Oh, yeah. God. It's too freaking cute. You take a little mushroom-shaped cookie cutter and punch out the parts of a mushroom. And then, like, you're, like, punching holes in it. I, it looks so laborious. And I know. I saw another one. I didn't send it to you, but it was... Um, for you make, you know, take a little piece of tiny little toast and then you put basil on them. Uh, just big old basil, basil. Yeah. Basil leaves. And then you take a cherry tomato and cut it in half. Mm -hmm. And then you take a piece of mozzarella and you end up making a mushroom. Oh no, it's so cute. Right. And then you, you cut out the mozzarella in the right shape. And then you put, take, um, balsamic, balsamic vinegar and put it as like the little base of the mushroom like to make a little like where it's going into the ground Uh and I was like wow first of all I would hate it because there's so much fresh basil on it I'm like right it's just too much but like also kind of cute you know yeah labor Uh, intensive I think I know I think I'm following an account that does like nothing but that that nothing but mushrooms (laughs) nothing but they do like this like super cute like everything is like a charcuterie board, but like a woodland critter charcuterie board. Wow, I'm gonna have the name of that account. I like I like when you go to your phone to go look something up. You're like, I gotta show you this account, and you can't remember the name of it. And oh yeah, and you can't find it. And you're like, for no. once, would you please listen to me? Oh, yeah, do you, are you recording my voice now? Yeah. Do, do it now, like now. Uh, I want you to listen in on my. Oh, someone else is making Easter. Oh shit. <laughs> David Faith, thank you for the super chat. Happy St. Patrick's Day from all of us at Winchester's Old Speakeasy. Uh, yeah, Message is brought right. to you by Winchester's Old Speakeasy. Visit the Dublin location. <laughs> <laughs> I got distracted because I opened the stupid phone and I'm watching another video about how to dye Easter eggs. Check this out. 
they take a paper towel, draw oh, yeah, I saw this one. Towel, you said, draw on the paper towel, wrap it around the Easter egg and dunk it in the vinegar. Like, yeah. that bad, Isn't this, so. I mean, I think that's the exact same that there, I mean, I think that's pretty, probably similar to like the silk scarf method. Yeah, and, similar. And yeah. I think I've seen it with, um, designed napkins as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I like, I like how these look too. They look kind of like swirly and magical. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. I might, I might sit down and do that just for funsy. I mean, it obviously works. <gasps> oh, before I forget, uh, everyone, um, hedgehog is now on Omletto, um, oh, which is, uh, hedgehog was, Dimitri's film that was at Julian Dubuque International Film Festival. Dimitri, it's a really good short film. Uh, Dimitri is who directed the the other uh, the web series that I wrote and directed that I went to Dubuque for. So go go check that out over on Omleto. Oh. O M E L. Mm, uh, yeah. All right, we got a uh, eight minutes until joke corner uh, theme. Oh my gosh, I'll take your I'll take your St. Patrick's Day, yeah, dicey Irish jokes uh, <laughs> for this this week's scene. So it is it is St. Patrick's Day this weekend. I love St. Patrick's Day. I'm working I'm working the night shift, but I saw this thing for garnishes where you take two little baby marshmallows and those sour um rainbows and oh yeah oh my mm -hmm. god I'm gonna I'm gonna I made a little rainbow yeah, yeah I'm, I'm hosting on Saturday night so I'm gonna sit there and make rainbow garnishes for brunch the next day I like just volunteered myself I was like I'm doing this and uh, David uh I don't know if we should know like, no it's happening it's uh, going on. <laughs> David like, oh, Faith uh, sent a happy belated birthday super chat Tara, oh thank Tara's you fridge fund. Thank and you. then snowflake melter wants us to say the word herbs right with the h and it's not gonna happen <laughs> herbs 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 i have a friend that i have an ongoing battle with for like probably a year and a half now about the way and i'm not gonna say it on here in case they they tune in because i could see them doing that the way that you say the word for the stuff that you pour to make a sidewalk it's been a long ongoing oh cement versus cement uh-huh. And I refuse to say it. And now it's a thing. It will never, I will never, I will That's never regional. give it. Yeah. It's regional. That's I will regional. never give up on it. I will never divulge it. I'll never say that word publicly ever again. And it's been a, it's been an ongoing battle. It's been hilarious. It's my favorite. I like, I like getting started about something and stupid and innocuous and digging my heels. Yeah. Um, <laughs> on a completely unrelated note, um, I had a fortune cookie lecture me this week. What? <laughs> <laughs> Like, I like what a hard left we just took. Well, I have it here because oh, I wanted okay. to make sure that, that I remembered to talk about it. The moment there, I thought table. you were like pulling the memory out of nowhere. I'm like, wow, you got deeply owned. And it really, I did. Roman Empire is a fortune cookie. Yeah. Uh, you should be of more tenderness and less aggressiveness. And, uh, <laughs> right? Okay. Hey, hey, calm down, fortune cookie. <laughs> You don't know me. <laughs> All right. But I, um, you know, that we have that whole thing with fortune cookies of like, are you going to eat it? Or, you know, you reject it. I had one a few weeks ago that I rejected. I don't remember what it said. I just remember outright. I went, go F yourself. And I threw it in the trash can. Um, I don't remember what it said. I was a little tipsy. Um, <laughs> this one I did eat. I was like, fine, you're right. I need to be more tender and less fine. aggressive. I will be nicer. <laughs> I'll be nicer to you. I'll be nicer to you and I'll maybe, maybe be nicer to you. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> uh, calm oh. down, fortune cookie. God. Oh, goodbye, Steve. He's leaving. He doesn't want to stick around for Joke Corner. I know. Bye, Steve. Uh, bye. Calm, hashtag calm down, fortune rookie. Mm -hmm. Oh, funny. Oh, hey, business time. We got an episode coming out tomorrow. Completely forgot about Dude, that. Because we finished it so early that we don't. Yeah. Episode coming out tomorrow. What did I do in this episode? I forgot. You made a Cadbury egg croissant. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we we filmed so much stuff, the two of us independently, and are like we're editing all the time now, little tiny things. So I lose track of what I filmed, what yep. I put in the world. I don't know. Tomorrow's episode. I wrapped a Cadbury egg in Pillsbury. 
uh, croissant dough and stuck on the air fryer. And guys, it works. It's amazing. You got to try it. It's so stinking good. I like Pillsbury dough. And I like this. This was delicious. Highly recommend that episode's coming out tomorrow in the morning. I got to remember to, to like finish. <laughs> Right. right. Ben Good mentioned um, Greg's Heart of Texas movie made it into JDI. That thing's doing yeah. well. Like it, yeah. they want to, they, she won it. Uh, Lauren Knoll. Is that her mm-hmm. name? Knoll? Is that her last name? Uh, she, she won Best Actress. I don't know if it was short or whatever, but one of the best actress at Mammoth. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, so, oh, so JDIFF had posted that, JDIF posted that they, um, seeing all these exciting um, acceptances to JD, JDF. And I almost wrote <laughs> Natalie Lynch is an official selection. <laughs> and I was like, I had to stop myself. Like, I'm like, Natalie, you're getting too sassy. I don't know. To, like, I don't know why you think you were like own the joint. Like, I'm just going to say whatever I want to say, whatever I want to say. It. Oh my God, amazing. Natalie Lynch is an official selection. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm be ready. Just- See y'all there. Oh my God. I'm so excited. At some point, I guess we should like do a post and announce that we're going to be there. Well, I think we need to hear a little bit more from Susan yeah. first. So. Yeah, we can talk to until them. Until they we'll announce know. it. I don't know if we, if oh, it's yeah. really yeah. happening. No, no, no. We need to talk to him about like, hey, we should, you know, also, what are we doing? What's a, what's, what do you, what do you want from us? What's the plan here? So we can yeah. write our sticks. I don't know. I've never done an award show before. Right. Uh, I want to change dresses every time. I think I think you should. I think I stay in the same dress. You go back and quick change every time and every time into a new gown. Change again? Oh my god! Could you, Matt? We're gonna have to fly Southwest to get there because they're for the luggage. Uh, yeah. Every time, like Natalie, that's another dress. Like, where did you put all this in the hotel room? I think it'd be fun. They get more (laughs) over the top and more over the top every time. But it have to be really scripted ahead of time so that I knew to how many to bring. Like if, if I don't know how many times I'm going to be out there. <laughs> right. Yeah. We have to know exactly the run of the, the thing, but that would be hilarious. I would love to. They just get weirder and more like over the top and big. And you get to wear all your dresses. We'd have to yeah. bring you a whole entire set. I have seat. enough. Yeah. You probably have plenty of time to quick change. Maybe. Maybe. I think so. There's like dance. There's like music numbers and stuff. Oh Yeah. Uh, that definitely can change after in in the middle of every music act. That's at least three minutes. That's plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about you. It's not about me. It's about me in the dress. And then your participation of my dress, by the way, of my own mirror.com. Oh, oh my gosh. It's true though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ship your outfits. That's not a bad idea. We ship them to a. Uh, well, oh, that's true. They'd be light. Yeah. That'd be, yeah. Easily done. How many do I need? Um, do I need to buy more? Oh no, <laughs> you need to buy dresses. How terrible. <gasps> I'm wearing um, the gold dress, damn it. I'm working that out. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, amazing. All right. One minute warning to the joke corner. And the theme is Irish and St. Patrick's Day. I did tie to tie. I bought some soda bread. I'm very excited about it. What? The sun went away entirely. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know what was wrong. We had like, sun today. That again. Are you mad at me? <laughs> at one point in time, there was sun. <laughs> you get i suggest fedex says uh jack boots excellent we'll think about that when we when we get around to working on the show at some point i guess you probably should start doing that uh all right joke corner let's do this you're gonna write a joke the formatting is write the joke all caps we're joke joke to follow with the solution in it so that i can find it if i'm not reading your joke it's not because i hate you it's because the bots hate you it's not me they hate you <laughs> the bots right. hate so, just change the E's to threes because I'm sure it's a word that you're using. Welcome, Math Gamer 422. You're in time for joke corner. Get on it. Go get your joke. some jokes. <laughs> jokes. Lino, why do leprechauns make the worst comedians? Because uh, c- they're short. <laughs> I mean, essentially. <laughs> That's some. <laughs> why? The most PC answer ever because their jokes end up a wee bit short. I mean, you're oh, right. okay, <laughs> you're correct. <laughs> Does it Ray? Why did St. Patrick's? Why did St. Patrick drive the snakes out of Ireland? Why? Yeah, uh, because no one likes snakes. Um, because <laughs> because he couldn't, it's something to do with driving. Uh huh. What is it? 
because he couldn't afford to fly. The- yeah. See, I knew it was, I knew it was something about the driving portion. I got it. I know the, I answer. got the joke. Okay. <laughs> Not a competition. <laughs> I'm going to beat the joke. Okay. Oh, Derek Ward, an Irish man who worked in a brewery accidentally fell into a vat of beer and drowned. When his wife asked if he went quick, she was told, no, in fact, he got out three times to pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, goodness. Uh, oh, we jumped. And and we jumped. And here we are. Jump, jump. Uh, jump, jump. Make you want to. David Faith, I think it's a disgrace on society and our education system when after 50 years, most people have no idea who Neil Armstrong is or what kind of trumpet he played. <laughs> oh, Derek Ward, my local barber was just arrested for selling drugs. Wow, I was a customer for six years. Never knew he was a barber. <laughs> oh, for those of you asking, do you know where my jokes come from? I get them from the dad of base. Dad of base. Dad, dad jokes. Dad jokes. It turns out that a home DNA test is not good. It's not a good baby shower gift. No, you can't do that. <laughs> David, in quotes, that's what she, what? she in said. In quotes, it's that's what, period, dash, as if we're quoting her, she. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's really hard to describe that one. <laughs> yeah. Derek, at age at age 65, my grandmother started walking 10 miles a day. Now she's 92, and we don't know where the hell we can't goes. find her. Ben, if water is blue, don't ask me how they make the river green for St. Pat's. Oh. Uh, Ew. Ew. Ed, what do you call a fake Irish diamond? Mm, I don't know. A shamrock. Ah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> David, I debated a flat earther once. He stormed off saying he walked he, he walked to the edge of the earth to prove me wrong. He'll come around eventually. <laughs> you stay exactly where you are. I love the the meme that's got the flat earthers like website with flat earthers all around the globe. And like, it's amazing. I love it. What would St. Patrick order to drink at a restaurant? I don't know. Green tea. Green tea. tea. After going to the casino every weekend for years, I finally won big. A brand new Nissan. I call it my vice versa. Ah, vice, your vice of being a gambler. Oh, and the, and a versa is, is, uh, is a kind of Nissan. Got it. Okay. I didn't know that. David, please pray for my daughter who had to empty the dishwasher when she just did this yesterday and she's tired. Ruin her life one day at a time. One one task and one, one task at a time. time. It's all over for you, kiddo. I just realized that the paper towels at the side of the gas pump are there so you can wipe your tears after you fill your tank. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. The f- gas here, so this is off top. Yeah. Topic. <laughs> I like that though. Off top. <laughs> um, the gas price here in this town fluctuates 50 cents. Like it is extreme. Like one day we'll be at like two seventy five, and the next day we're at three twenty. Like and you're just like, what? Like how? how what? I don't understand. That's a, that's a that's a yeah. Like right now it's at like it's it's at like three seventeen or something like that. But just a week ago it was two. I mean, and it goes up and down. I'm like, I don't know. I can't figure it out yet. That's weird. You're like, oh, it's a two dollar week. Let's go. Oh, it's a real week. We'll wait. Hmm. Uh, I met a girl crying. Who sang the blues and I asked a foursome. Sorry. (gasps) I met a girl crying outside a mall. I asked her what's wrong. She said she lost $200. So I gave her 40 from the 200. I think 
God blesses you, you must bless others. Uh, yeah. David, there is a fine line between a numerator and a denominator. But only a fraction of the people understand this. Desiree, how can you tell when a potato is not from Ireland? When, when, when uh, mm, it ha doesn't have an accent? <laughs> it's a French fry. Ah. Ah. I merely thought of Idaho potatoes. Idaho potatoes. Uh... Do, 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 do. A pessimist sees a dark tunnel. An optimist sees a light at the end of the tunnel. A realist sees a freight train. The train driver sees three idiots standing on the track. <laughs> yes. Okay, we jumped again. Good Lord, it's very jumpy today. Jump, jump, jump. Wow, you guys are writing lots of jokes. Okay, here we go. Oh, lockpicking engineer, good day. I was abducted by aliens. They made me wash my hands, clean my room, and eat my vegetables. Turns out, I was on the mothership. <laughs> it was my parents. It was my parents. Desiree, what do ghosts drink on St. Patrick's Day? What do ghosts drink? Ghosts. Uh... Ghosts. <laughs> ghosts. Ghosts. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Booze. <laughs> I know you're like ghosts. This is a joke that's been repurposed from another holiday. Yeah. You guys, that's those aren't fair. <laughs> In fact, the famous actor Raymond Burr had a lumberjack brother named Tim. Timber. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, received a text from the wife saying she was breaking up with me. Imagine how relieved I was when a couple of minutes later she texted, sorry, wrong number. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Yeah. Everything's good. Everything's fine. What do you get if you cross Christmas with St. Patrick's Day? I I don't know. Saint O'Claus. Saint O'Claus. Fun fact, Santa Claus, the actual the saint that's associated with Santa Claus is buried in Ireland. Long story. I got to see the, the grave and I was there a million years ago. Uh, different lifetime. Fun fact. Go look it up. Uh, David, a cantaloupe farmer named John is offering a course on fruit farming for older single ladies. John's Cougar Melon Camp. Can you guys hear this? No. There is. Someone upstairs has decided that they're playing Irish music at the top of, like, I'm, just, I'm so distracted. <laughs> In the last, like, five minutes, something upstairs has turned into, like, Holly, I can't hear any of it. Well, that's good. Excellent. That's good. A, a snowflake melter. Foreman of the building site asked Patty, what would you want to paint that? thousand foot chimney he answers a hundred foot bloody brush okay okay got it i understand i like really think this through and keaton what's the leprechaun's favorite position on the baseball team i thought that was going to take a different <laughs> turn entirely shortstop yes excellent much better than the joke i thought was coming <laughs> desiree what's the perfect saint patty's day breakfast um, Lucky Charms. Yeah, I like that. Green Eggs and Ham is hers. Ooh. I can't find my Lucky Charms shirt. I've worn it on the show and I can't find it. I wanted to wear it this weekend. I'm very upset about it. David Faith, daughter. Hey, mom. My boyfriend has dandruff. What can I do about it? Mom, give him head and shoulders. Daughter, um, how do I give him shoulders? What is happening on this? What? <laughs> How did I make that happen? I was doing this. What did you just do? How did I? What just happened? This says a thing. What? What? Why? I know. Wait, is one who authorized this? One thumb does the the. 
Are you kidding me? Do you have that turned on? Is this a feature? What if for anybody right. who's like listening and not watching, Tara's got Tara's got animation happening on her side of the screen. <laughs> but okay, I- if I do one thumb up on Zoom, it does a bubble that pops up that shows a thumbs up, which I knew that because it kept happening here in the meeting last week or this week. I kept like holding myself with my thumb sticking up, but I kept thinking I was trying to give the thumbs up. And yeah, I was like crossing my arms and holding my anyways. But if you do two thumbs up. Now it does fireworks. I don't get, I don't get anything. That start. I guess when I was doing this, it thought I was trying. I to don't get... like it. <laughs> Did you turn that on? No, no. It just started doing it the other day. Who? who okay. Look, <laughs> <laughs> okay. that should not be something you should not automatically turn on animations no. in someone. Like if no. you're in a really serious meeting and, <laughs> and that just and suddenly like you how, had fireworks going yeah. on luckily it was only a live stream but this is how a cat meme enters into a meeting in congress is because they just do stuff and they don't tell you don't just do stuff this is a professional app you don't just do stuff could you imagine ben says it's apple oh oh apple what the it just, I just did an update and out of nowhere, there's all these weird things that are different. I was like, he, I, like, I have my downloads doing very specific things. Why do I now have to relook up how to fix that? This drives me bonkers when they update. It's okay. That's enough of complaining corner. We're going to have a complaining corner. Complaining all corner. Right, I'm going to read one more joke and then we're going to call it. I'm just going to pick it at random. All right, Desiree, how can you tell if a leprechaun likes your joke? He lets out a little chuckle. He, he's doubling over with laughs. Ah. Ah. All right, guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Don't forget, we got an episode coming out tomorrow. Don't forget, also, go over to TikTok and Instagram. We got lots of silly stuff coming out. Put your- All at last. Yeah. While we, while we, while we, while Every we time Tara and I start to do TikTok again, like they go, there's, it goes back into like, we're going to cancel TikTok. Yeah. Like it yeah. went quiet That's for a while and we had gone quiet. I think it's us. It is. Anytime we do anything, either the bar gets moved or they just close the site. Like I'm shocked YouTube didn't close down. We decided to start making content at this point, but the way, cause the bar, the bar keeps, and, oh man, I was looking at TikToks, like features and how to get certain features and like, oh, we're back to this again. We need 10,000 subscribers in order to, da, 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 da. I yeah. can't believe we're repeating 2007. I can't uh... believe it's worse. It's a worse version as 2024. Anyways. <laughs> um, so that's the end of the show it's that's great. how we're gonna end it that's how we're gonna end it this very uplifting note keep All an right, eye out for tomorrow's episode yeah get out the episode. check out our tiktoks and instagrams and stuff help us out by liking and watching and repeating them whatever help us move the needle on that because uh this is our method of making a feature film it's a long story stay tuned <laughs> stay tuned all right see you guys next week bye guys bye. Done.